الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تقولوا راعنا وقولوا انظرنا واسمعوا وللكافرين عذاب اليم ما يود الذين كفروا من اهل الكتاب ولا المشركين ان ينزل عليكم من خير من ربكم والله يختص برحمته من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي امين يا رب العالمين يا ايها الذين امنوا this is for the first time in surah al baqarah that we are having these words of ya ayyuhal ladina amanu and please note that the whole of the makki quran doesn't contain this expression of address to the muslims in none of the makki surahs this is actually a typical term used to address the muslim ummah and the muslim umma actually was formed at madina in makki surahs ya ibadi alladhina amanu ya ibadi alladhina asrafu but not ya ayyuhal alladhina amanu the only exception is surah al hajj and about that i have told you that there is a difference of opinion whether that surah al hajj is makki or madani this is for the first time and this is to address the muslim umma as a whole including the mu'minin the muslims and even the munafiqeen they are also included in the muslim ummah legally ya ayyuhal ladina amanu la taqulu ra'ina o you who profess to believe this is how i prefer to translate it o you who believe i think the better expression would be o you who profess to believe who claim to believe la taqulu ra'ina don't say don't utter the word ra'ina this was a social expression among the arabs when you were you were sitting together and somebody was speaking and maybe that someone has not heard what he said he used to say that as if you used to say today excuse me please give me some concession ra'ina so they used to word, use this word ra'ina but the jews you know change this word to raina and raina means oh our herdsman so to insult to inflict an insult to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they change the pronunciation of this word just as they changed ata'na to ata'na and there was very close resemblance we have just read in the previous session sami'na wa asayna instead of ata'na in the same way the instead of raina they used to say raina so allah subhanahu wa taala asked the muslims not to use this word at all and instead use the other word unzurna just wait for me just look towards me basmau and you listen with the full attention so that you don't have to use this word walil kafirin azabun alim or for those disbelievers who are using these words instead of the real word for them is a very painful torment very painful chastisement ma yawaddu alladhina kafaru min ahli alkitab wal mushrikeen none from those who have taken to kufr and disbelief whether they are from the people of the book min ahli alkitab wal mushrikeen or they are from the idol worshippers the mushriks the pagan arabs none of them wants or wishes or likes an yunazzal alaykum min khairin min rabbikum that some good thing should be sent down to you o muslims from your lord this wahi is coming to you this quran is being communicated to you this is the biggest blessing of allah subhanahu wa taala neither the people of the book like it nor these pagan arabs like it why you have been blessed with such great a benevolence of allah subhanahu wa taala wallahu yaqtassu bi rahmatihi man yasha and it is for allah to decide whom he reserves for his mercy and blessing who he chooses for his mercy and blessing wallahu dhul fadlil azim and allah is the owner of great bounty ma nansakh min ayatin aw nunsaha na'ti bi khairin minha aw misliha 
we do not abrogate any verse, any ayah, or make it, cause it to be forgotten. Na'ati bi khairim minha, except that we bring a better ayah in that place. Now this is a very important issue. Because although the deen of Allah has been the same throughout, the basic teachings of the deen of Allah are the same. From Adam till Muhammad, alayhi salatu wa salam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The deen has been one. But the sharias, the laws, the rites and rituals, the customs, they have been different. There was different form of salah in the Jewish sharia. There's a different form of salah with us. There were different rules for psalm, for fasting, for the people of Moses, alayhi salatu wa salam. There are, there are differences in the rules about psalm in the sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Now this changing of sharia means something from the former law has been changed and something has been abrogated and instead something else, something new has been given. Now the Jews took it, made, made it an issue of objecting on the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you say that Moses was a prophet of Allah, if you say Torah was the book of Allah, how come? How do you change these things then? Why then change in the Sharia? Why this change in these the detailed laws of Sharia? If Allah subhanahu wa taala had all the knowledge from the very beginning, why didn't He send? the total and the final sharia from the very beginning. Now this is the answer to this, because you know, the human kind was undergoing a process of mental, intellectual and social evolution. That process was going on. Hence there was a need of a different, of an of a, of evolution in the sharia also. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been changing the rules from time to time and this is called nasr, abrogation. And this dust is present in Quran also. In the beginning some commandment was given. There was a commandment keep standing throughout the night. At least one third of it. Ya ayyuhal muzzammil qumil layla illa qalila nisfahu wa min qusminhu qalila awzir alayhi wa ratilil qurana tarqila Keep standing for the half or two third or at least one third of the night. Then it was abrogated. You can't continue with it. It's beyond your power. So actually there are changes during the Sharia of Muhammad, the, the evolution of the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why I said that the blueprint of the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we find in Surah Al-Baqarah. Then gradually developed into the final form and that we shall find in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Ma nan min ayatin We don't abrogate any ayah of ours aw nunsiha or cause it to be forgotten minha, we bring a better one or similar to it. Aw misliha. Alam ta'lam anna Allah ala kulli shayin qadeer. Don't you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful? He has the authority to do whatever he likes. Alam ta'lam anna Allah alahu mulku samawati wa nars. Don't you know that all the kingdom and sovereignty of the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا لَكُمْ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَلِيٍّ وَلَا نَصِيرٍ And you don't have, and you will, you will not find, besides Allah, any of your wali, what is, who is wali? Protector or guardian. Nor you will find any helper. No wali except Allah, no guardian except Allah, no protector except Allah, no helper except Allah.